Let's check your work. In this time period, the first V1 plus wave has reflected from the load, but the reflected wave has not yet reached the generator, which occurs at 2L over UP. Note that the switch is still closed over this entire time period, so we still have V1 plus everywhere on the transmission line, and I1 plus. What we now also have is V1 minus which has propagated some distance back towards the generator. We can calculate the voltage reflection coefficient at the load, which you can see here on the upper right of the screen. V1 plus times the voltage reflection coefficient at the load is equal to V1 plus times positive 1, which is just V1 plus. This means that the amplitude of V1 minus is equal to V1 plus and over the distance that V1 minus has traveled, the total voltage on the transmission line is 2 V1 plus. Let's look for a moment at the current reflection coefficient. It is defined as I1 minus at L over I1 plus at L and that's equal to minus V1L over Z0 over V1 plus L over Z0 and again the minus sign comes from the fact that the current is flowing in the minus Z direction so it has a negative amplitude. Once we simplify this expression we just get minus the reflection coefficient of the voltage at the load which means we can use the voltage reflection coefficient just add a minus sign and you have the current reflection coefficient. Now take a couple minutes to plot the voltage and current waves for the last moment in time that we'll consider.